Storage Devices Computer data storage is a technology consisting of computer components and recording media that are used to retain digital data. It is a core function and fundamental component of computers. The central processing unit CPU, of a computer is what manipulates data by performing computations. In practice, almost all computers use a storage hierarchy, which puts fast but expensive and small storage options close to the CPU and slower but less expensive and larger options further away. Generally, the fast volatile technologies which lose data when off power are referred to as memory, while slower persistent technologies are referred to as storage. Primary storage, also known as main memory, internal memory, or prime memory, often referred to simply as memory, is the only one directly accessible to the CPU. The CPU continuously reads instructions stored there and executes them as required. Any data actively operated on is also stored therein in a uniform manner. This led to modern random access memory RAM. It is small sized, light, but quite expensive at the same time. The particular types of RAM used for primary storage are also volatile, i.e. they lose the information when not powered. As the RAM types used for primary storage are volatile, uninitialized at startup, a computer containing only such storage would not have a source to read instructions from, in order to start the computer. Hence, non-volatile primary storage containing a small startup program BIOS is used to bootstrap the computer, that is, to read a larger program from non-volatile secondary storage to RAM and start to execute it. A non-volatile technology used for this purpose is called ROM, for read-only memory. The terminology may be somewhat confusing as most ROM types are also capable of random access. A hard disk drive with the protective cover removed secondary storage, also known as external memory or auxiliary storage, differs from primary storage in that it is not directly accessible by the CPU. The computer usually uses its input-output channels to access secondary storage and transfer the desired data to primary storage. Secondary storage is non-volatile, retaining data when power is shut off. Modern computer systems typically have two orders of magnitude more secondary storage than primary storage because secondary storage is less expensive. In modern computers, hard disk drives HDDs, or solid-state drives SSDs, are usually used as secondary storage. The access time per byte for HDDs or SSDs is typically measured in milliseconds 1000 seconds, while the access time per byte for primary storage is measured in nanoseconds 1 billion seconds. Thus, secondary storage is significantly slower than primary storage. Rotating optical storage devices, such as CD and DVD drives, have even longer access times. Other examples of secondary storage technologies include USB flash drives, floppy disks, magnetic tape, paper tape, punched cards, and RAM disks. Most computer operating systems use the concept of virtual memory, allowing utilization of more primary storage capacity than is physically available in the system. As the primary memory fills up, the system moves the least used chunks pages to a swap file or page file on secondary storage, retrieving them later when needed. If a lot of pages are moved to slower secondary storage, the system performance is degraded. Tertiary storage A large tape library, with tape cartridges placed on shelves in the front, and a robotic arm moving in the back. 
Online storage is immediately available for I.O. The medium is recorded, usually in a secondary or tertiary storage device, and then physically removed or disconnected. It must be inserted or connected by a human operator before a computer can access it again. Unlike tertiary storage, it cannot be accessed without human interaction. In modern personal computers, most secondary and tertiary storage media are also used for offline storage. Optical disks and flash memory devices are the most popular and to much lesser extent removable hard disk drives. Non-volatile memory retains the stored information even if not constantly supplied with electric power. Volatile memory requires constant power to maintain the stored information. Since the primary storage is required to be very fast, it predominantly uses volatile memory. Please subscribe, share, like video, comment and click bell icon for upcoming videos.